Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I'm ACC Atarush Jain, a proud Fintrammer, and I welcome you all to the online sessions for the ACC UK tax exam. Let's start today's session. Thank you guys for attending the session. I'll just give you a few quick uh, tips for the exam. Again, as I said always read the questions and examination requirements carefully because uh, once it's important that you make pointed answers. You have limited time and you shouldn't do uh, things that, that the question hasn't asked you. So it's important that you read the question and the requirements carefully. So in ACCA, what we do is we divide the paper into, we suggest that you divide the paper as in 1.8 uh, minutes to each mark available. There are 180 minutes and 100 marks. So 180 minutes, 1.8 minutes per, per mark. So a, a 10 mark question should take you 18 minutes. And within that, you should read it, plan your answer, and then do the workings. If you get completely stuck with a question, you can obviously flag it in the SAP, in the CBE software and it return to it later. Always keep the last five minutes of your exam to read through your answers, make any additions or corrections. Just make sure you do. Because uh, there are there have been instances ki aap koi calculation mistake ho jati hai, koi typing mistake ho jati hai. So you just you want to avoid to that. So you want time in your hands remaining. Decide whether you want to attend these at the start. Now objective test questions. I would suggest do it at the start because your mind fresh hota hai and this is your. Uh, 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 this is your scoring area. So do your objective test questions first. I would suggest this, but you can obviously do it at your last as well. If you want to use the, the first hour or so in doing the computational questions, that's entirely up to you. But I think I think three hours, 15 minutes. Right? 15 minutes is supposedly for reading. So use those 15 minutes for reading each and every question. And then think about whether you want to do the objective test questions first or the computational questions first. I always had objective test questions because I knew that this is scoring and I will become a mark from here. Okay? So, if you do it before, this would take around one hour for you. It's uh, 30 marks, 1.8 uh, into 30 is roughly 54 minutes. Uh, so obviously no workings are allowed here. It's only correct or incorrect, but it, there might be instances where you need to do workings. So, uh, I think now you're giving us computer exam, so you can use the, uh, rough pad and all that there, but make sure up jal me na karo. Make sure ki aap if you're taking, if you take 30 seconds more or 40 seconds more, or even a minute or two more, it's okay. There, there would be some questions where it will take you five seconds and there will be some questions that, that where you'll take two, two and a half minutes. So it's okay if you spend some time on workings, but do the workings with a calm mind so that uh, you get the marks. OT questions. Again, I, uh, read the whole thing first. Uh, underline if you have to highlight, I think, in, in your CV, if you have to, the important points uh, where uh, you think it might be relevant. Read all the questions first, all the five questions in an OT, OT case. There is a lot of information that you'll, you'll consume. So make sure you read everything first and then, and then attempt it. Again, uh, uh, same with MCQs, as I said, in, even here, there will be some things that will require more effort in terms of workings and some that will require eff uh, less effort. So, we will principle that every question will be solved in 10 minutes. So, I will take, once you read through the question, you will know that which is easy and which is difficult. है. So, if you know that this is easy, I will do it. Spend less time on that and uh, spend, examine where you can spend a little more time, where you have room to spend more time on a, on a question. थोड़ा लंबा कैलकुलेशन करना है मुझे शॉर्टकट नहीं पता है तो मैं पूरा बना के एक बार कर लेती हूँ ये कर लेता हूँ तो इट्स इम्पोर्टेंट तो 
exam is only about time management. Huh. So constructed response questions, these are the long form questions and these require different techniques. You, when you start reading it, spend some time planning your answer. Ki, uh, how would you start? What would be the workings that are required? What would be the conclusion? Uh, how would you present it? Just uh, frame it in your mind and then put it on paper. Don't do it ad hoc. Ki exam, uh, matlab question, uh, shuru kar di. Take a minute to, to kind of consume and, and process it before you start writing. And pay particular attention to the verbs in the question. What is it asking you to do? Is it asking you to calculate? Is it asking you to state? Is it asking you to explain? If state or explain, then it's theory based. Hai. आपको ज़्यादा कैलकुलेशन नहीं दिखानी है अगर कैलकुलेट है तो आपको पूरी वर्किंग्स भी दिखानी होगी ठीक है और आप मार्क्स से भी अंदाज़ा लगा सकते हो कि कितने कितने वर्किंग्स दिखानी है अगर दो मार्क का क्वेश्चन है तो आपको ज़्यादा वर्किंग नहीं दिखानी होगी लेकिन अगर आठ मार्क का क्वेश्चन है या नौ मार्क का क्वेश्चन है तो और अगर पाँच या छः मार्क का भी क्वेश्चन है तो आपको वर्किंग्स दिखानी पड़ेगी इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड वोट क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग स्टेट योर अजम्पन्स state your assumptions uh, what do you, what do you understand he, uh, this is ha happening suppose like stuti you you got stuck right uh, uh, in a question but you should know but aapko taxable income ya tax liability to calculate karni aati hai wo class 1 nic mein problem hai but aap calculate aap, aap taxable income calculate kar lo aap ye likh do ki class 1 nic kya hota hai uh, uh, class 1 nic kis pe lagta hai uh, so even if you don't get everything right, you will get some marks for the assumptions, for the basics that you write, if they are reasonable. So it's important that if you are stuck, make sure you write, don't leave it blank. Write all that you understand about the question. Even if you are stuck. Because you will get one or two marks. And that one or two marks might just make the difference. So it's important. And again, you should make everything easy for the exa examiner. मतलब उसको answer ढूँढना ना पड़े उसको कि इसका ये इसने बोला है ये कहाँ लिखा हुआ इसने. So you should have a clear structure and be concise. कोई दो पेज के answer नहीं लिखने time भी नहीं होगा पर लिखने भी नहीं है. Clear structure कैसे होता है कि जो उसने पूछा है अगर उसने income tax liability पूछी है या उसने अगर taxable total profits पूछा है तो वो पहले आएगा उसकी वर्किंग्स बाद में आएंगी डोंट डू वर्किंग्स पहले एंड देन टीटीपी नीचे जो उसने क्वेश्चन में पूछा है वो सबसे पहले आएगा और उसके नीचे नोट्स आप डालते रहो एंड देयर आर 15 मार्क क्वेश्चंस देयर आर लॉट ऑफ इश्यूज दैट आर कवर्ड सो इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू राइट अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट एवरी पॉइंट एंड नॉट वन नॉट अ लॉट अबाउट वन पॉइंट अगर उसने पांच चीजें पूछी हैं तो आप थोड़ा थोड़ा चारों पांचों के बाद लिख दो अगर एक के बारे में सारा लिखोगे तो वो ज्यादा उससे सारे मार्क्स नहीं मिलेंगे ठीक है रिमेम्बर ऑल दीज थिंग्स ऑलवेज यू स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्मेट्स यू हैव द फॉर्मेट्स इन योर नोट्स गो थ्रू दो फॉर्मेट्स इनकम टैक्स कॉम्पिटिशन कॉपरेट टैक्स कैपिटल गेन्स इनहेरिटेंस टैक्स दिस विल नॉट ओनली हेल्प यू टू स्ट्रक्चर इन आंसर बट it would give you it would give the examiner also confidence uh, in, the, in in ensuring agar aapka format galat hai to wo waise hi marks kaat dega so again logical approach and cross reference working as i said it should be very easy for the examiner do not leave a large gap between your answer and your workings it should flow from one subject to another Now it it can also ask reports, memos, and other documents, right? Uh, make a memo for the client on this. Make a note for this. So, up what you can do is you can structure it like this: dear sir, uh, subject, you know, date, and then start with a nice intro line. Uh, uh, this is uh, in reference to, and then begin your answer. इससे क्या होता है कि एग्जामिनर को कॉन्फिडेंस आता है कि इसने क्वेश्चन समझा है और इसको रिपोर्ट बनाना आता है एंड देन ही गिव यू सम एक्स्ट्रा मार्क्स फॉर दैट क्योंकि बहुत सब्जेक्टिव होते हैं एग्जामिनर ये यहाँ पे आपको सब्जेक्टिवली एग्जामिनर एग्जामिन करता है 
तो आपको यू वॉन्ट टू इम्प्रेस हेम सो ऑल दीज एडिशनल थिंग्स विल हेल्प यू गेट दोज एडिशनल अटेंशन फ्रॉम दी एग्जामिनर सो डू दैट so that is all for me guys all right guys that's it for the session i'll see you in the next session till then it's acc atarush jain a proud fintrama signing off